Good morning, everybody. We are in the main cow barn right now, and we just locked both the west and the east side, the head lockers. Feed wagon just pulled through, so everybody's getting locked up on both sides of the barn here. Me and Dad are gonna be artificially inseminating a few cows, and then we're also gonna sort a few out that we're gonna dry off this afternoon. Usually we will use that sort gate, but um, this morning there was only like three or four, so I guess we have to sort some other cows for another reason. We'll just pick them out of the barn this morning. It's not that big of a deal, especially when all the cows are headlocked, so that's what we're doing right away this morning. quite a few self lockers that are locked up with no cows in there it's because that silly goose red cow number 20 is locking them all this red cow right here that's the one locking all the self lockers so dad just in front is looking at all the cow numbers and he'll tell me which one to mark that way when we come in here to AI, we'll just come to the red udders and make it super easy like that. So we got a few cows on this east side here that are not locking up. This is one of our girls, 644. She needs to be in the head lockers, as well as the one way out front there, 1105. All the lockers are full, so dad's letting a couple cows loose there. And then we'll try and um, convince these ladies to go in those self lockers. Got our breeder sleeve on, a couple of guns. Now we're looking for those red marks in the udders. Oh, there's one. All right, all right. So, got two cows out of four on this side AI. I'm going to go back, grab two more straws, and come back out here. One is locked in self lockers, but the other one. It's still walking around here. We tried letting a couple self lockers go there, kicking a couple cows out and trying to get her to walk in there and get locked up, but we had no success with that. She just didn't want to stick her head through. So sometimes that's the case. So once my dad's AI and the cows on the other side of the barn, we'll both try and kind of team up, get her up into one of these beds and uh, breed her like that. Just gonna let these ladies go. I've got a broken brush to fix up this afternoon, but I'm first gonna take a nap and then we'll check out that brush. So this is one of the brushes in our cow barn. We have four in total, two per group. There's another one way back down there and then the same on the other side of the barn over there. But unfortunately this morning when I guess Nalene or Costa came here, I wasn't milking this morning. So they must have come here. The brush was on the ground and they just took it all, put it by the pump here away from the cows. So this is the old brush there. I'm just gonna take it, we're gonna clean it off with the fire hose because it looks pretty covered in manure. Wouldn't hurt to give this thing a bath. Then we'll just um, find a bolt that works. I guess this is what actually holds it. There's a metal plate here. That's what actually holds the brush up. So a bolt must have just come loose or something. So not the biggest deal. We'll try and get that fixed up right away here. So that's nice and clean. You can see these cows do get quite a bit of use out of this brush. It's pretty worn out. Probably would be better just to get a whole new brush, but uh, we don't have them right now. We should probably just put this one back on for now, but uh, probably we will grab some new um, 
brushes or replacement bristles for those things because they do wear them down pretty good. Awesome, so this is a 12 millimeter bolt and that's probably, hopefully what we need. That looks perfect, so that's awesome. Also brought the cordless impact along because then we can go along to the other four brushes and the two in that part as well, make sure they're all tight. I think I need to grab a shorter bolt because it doesn't go in all the way. That's not that difficult. I'll just have to take it out again. It doesn't actually look like this brush even works. Like if I just kick it like that, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to go right away. So I'll have to look at that too. It doesn't even work. There's a little computer box up in here. I might go and change that out. I don't know, these brushes, they're pretty awesome, but I don't know if they stay working for too long. There's four brushes in this barn, and they've probably been broken like five or six times now, like individual brushes, so. They're nice, but they can break down. And I guess they've been running probably for a year and a half now in that barn, so. Look who I'm milking with this afternoon. Are you gonna dry them off, or? Yeah, I can. Okay, then I'll go scrape. By myself? No, Miriam's coming. Okay, nice. Yeah. So one of us has to stay here in the parlor and start milking, and they're gonna be the ones to dry those five cows off this afternoon. And then the other one has to go to the barn and scrape the alleys. I guess I'm gonna do the easy job today. Yeah, because I'm better at milking. <laughs> Not better. Slightly faster. <laughs> I'll bring these five ladies up into the parlor. The group is clean. Now we're gonna grab our bed buster here. This is basically just a bed rotor tiller. These things go into the sand and kind of just rotor till it all up. We'll pick it up with the bobcat there in a second, but uh, the reason why we use that thing, we're running it now once every afternoon. So seven days a week that thing is going through these beds and it seems like that adds a lot of time, but it actually doesn't even take five minutes for us to till one group. So it goes really quick and it's, hugely beneficial to our beds because even after one day the sand in our beds kind of starts to pack a little bit harder already it's not too bad but uh running that tiller through here every single day really make sure that our beds are always super soft and um that's really good for cow comfort another hugely beneficial thing of that bed buster is it also tills it up and it lets the sand kind of breathe and that helps the sand dry out now you want to get rid of all the bacteria or as much as you possibly can in these beds and if they're kind of moist and damp, there's no good. There's gonna be bacteria growing in there, even if it is sand, uh, if it is a little bit wet in there. So tilling it up allows it to kind of dry out a little bit better. And it's also hugely beneficial for the quality of the sand in the beds. Super easy to pick up with the Bobcat. Now we're just gonna put these uh, hydraulic hoses into the outlets on the Bobcat here. Now we're ready to bust up some beds.
there so you can see this is a lot softer and you sink a lot more into this than uh, before bed busting it back to the parlor now I was just making some videos of the cows leaving the parlor here and kind of feel like you're wasting time just taking random shots of cows leaving but I noticed something broken here on the parlor. This basically holds some wires and protects them as it goes up and down but you can see there's a bolt missing there and it's kind of hanging on the wires. That's pretty bad. So we're gonna have to find a new bolt for that. You can see there's three other arms that kind of hang down and they move as it goes open just to protect the wires. Oh, this bolt's still in there, but it's loose. The nut's gone. Yeah, the nut's gone. We should, we should check them all, make sure they're all tight. So one of these bolts was missing and that thing basically just protects the wires from the IDs here. The wires go up through this thing and they go up to uh, the computer. I guess through these arms that kind of go up with the whole assembly here when the cows leave. And there's four bolts holding it together. And one was missing and I guess we saw another arm over there with a bolt missing or the bolt is still hanging in there But the nut is missing. So we just put a super long one in. It's kind of like a locking nut on there It's got to be loose. Obviously you can't clamp these down too tight because otherwise it won't flex as it goes up That'll kind of defeat the purpose. You guys can see the um, wires going through there and stuff. So Luckily we caught that before it pulled any of the wires loose and broke some more stuff. That is gonna be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out the Instagram, at SaskDutchKid, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.